Hey everybody, I'm Jake, the DM for Venture Ventures, Baldur's Gate Descent into Avernus. We're going to get started here in a second. Let me do a quick recap of what's been going on. In general, it's been a lot of fetch quests. Get this for this person in order for them to do this thing. And that more specifically involves freeing, uh, getting some blood to throw on a uh, X Empyrean uh blood from tiamat uh that's have we a... checked if there's task rabbit uh no you haven't uh checked that but you're pretty short with the telemarketers and you could have missed one so i'm just saying uh and in order to get the blood of tiamat requested by uh kroll one of archon the cruel's uh you could say right hand man said that Archon fa would fancy a uh, the blood of an innocent. That's, that's hard to come by in hell. Uh, they have one in the party, but they don't necessarily want to give that up. But that thing goes by the name of Lulu, the Holophant. <laughs> and uh, so they thought of the... Can't sacrifice that plot device. No, you could. Uh, I'd figure something out. Um, <laughs> so they thought of the unicorn on top of the demon zapper that they uh, saw previously when this whole fetching series started. Uh, and that's where we left off with them at the demon zapper uh, planning to go up and somehow get the unicorn from its position on top of this Sauron type of tower. And you guys, do we already swap cars? Because we need to get the car that has like the, the, the grabby thing, grabbly, grabbing thing on the back. It's here. We yeah, left it here before. So I'm, I'm just going to, you guys talk amongst yourselves. I'm going to go get the car uh, brand a little closer. Sounds good, Ollie. Ollie goes pitter pattering off. Pitter patter. So, how do you plan on doing getting the unicorn? Razala says to you guys, the Dow. I've got a way with animals. How tall is this tower, roughly? This tower is where is the tower's height it's 100 feet tall okay it's not too bad we could uh we could fly up there and then maybe if if we can't get it down there if if jerry can't help us get it down there maybe i can uh you guys heard I, of a have you guys heard of a Pegasus? Yes. I've been doing some reading and I think I no, might be able maybe. to 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 conjure such a creature that can maybe carry it down to to our vehicle. How is a Pegasus going to carry a unicorn? Uh wink. I think bag of holding. I think weight it can. It's only a 1 foot diameter. How does one horse carry another? Um, I'm just the dimensions. Yeah, I feel like I don't. throw them on. How, catch them. how do you Out of plan? Game, I feel like I looked up this weight, but I can't find it anymore. How do you plan on getting through the isolation sphere that keeps the unicorn in place? Isolation sphere. You look up and uh, in between the two spikes at the top of the tower is a uh, semi-transparent ball, which is encasing the unicorn. We got to turn that off. Do you know what powers that thing? The tower. Hmm. What powers can the tower? Go, can I go inspect the base of the tower? Sure. Make 
investigation check. I'm going to go with you and help. Investigation. Uh, 16. Can't really find much, but uh, when you're looking There's not at much the, here, guys. When you're looking at the metal of the tower, it doesn't. It looks like you could damage it if you, you know, really put your back into it. Do I have, would uh, Jarvis know of any magic that might be able to looking at it? Would he be able to um, say with an Arcana check any magic Go that ahead. might disrupt it? Go ahead. Mod 20. Uh, you've read about some magic, high level magic. Some, some of your teachers might know. Um, so you think there's some, you just don't know what it is or have access to it. The tower uh, R R Ralzala says, you might just have to work on the tower. Hey guys, I think if we, what about, what about, what about this? What about just knocking the tower over? Good try. Now this, this thing that's encasing it, if, can we get inside of it? The sphere? The sphere directly surrounds the unicorn. You can try. I'm wondering if I could just, you know, go up there if the unicorn... The term isolation win. sphere really makes me think that it's for isolating something. So what if I kind of just created a portal into the sphere and then portaled myself out? It's possible, I guess. What would you do once you were in there? Well, that's the problem. I wouldn't be able to talk, and I wouldn't be able to bring both Jerry and myself back. Or the unicorn. I could theoretically bring the unicorn back, but I'd have to convince it to come with me willingly. And I might need Jerry for that. Hmm. Well, <clears throat> we got one idea to just start whacking away and see if we can... Maybe there's something behind the, the first layer of metal here. We'll see something. Or maybe it'll just fall over and we'll get lucky. Or we could try just flying up there and talking with the unicorn. Rum, 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 rum. And pull up with the car. What's hey, boy. <laughs> I can't it's... hear you. You got to turn that thing off. That's oh, the sound yeah. of... That's the sound of infernal machines. Um, you know, they design these things to be loud like that. <laughs> Makes sense. We're in a terrible place. So what do we decide? Uh, do, we, do, we, do you guys have a way they to get it easily down? just get a hell muffler, but they Ral just don't. They like the sound. Ral Zalis says, yes, they could actually run more efficiently if they... <laughs> tuned it to be quieter are you an enthusiast i once heard of this motorcycle on a different plane <laughs> that makes loud noises and doesn't run as efficiently as it can i thought you might be an infernal machine hobbyist or something it's cool I have many hobbies are one do we still have the beat up car with a wrecking ball on it uh... yes I think so we so. use yep. that yep. to just yep. start swinging on this it's very thing. very beat up but uh yes I, mean, I don't think the tower is going to fight back i mean, I mean it up. may don't get it me might, wrong it, We're might, in hell. It, it might start zapping us it might change its mind on who it wants to you know zap well, I we, wish could, it we could just go big and just drive the damn machine just right into the tower Oh right. yeah. You think that would be better than like multiple thwacks of a wrecking ball? <laughs> well, it, I mean if we can get it in one go, then it might not zap us, but we can give it a shot. I wish I would have had the idea of a tower mimic 
uh, before <laughs> now. Before right now. Right. It just bends over and flicks just, us away. Just like, I call Wrecking Ball. All right, I'll, uh, I'll drive it up close. Let's go get the car, Jerry. <laughs> we drive, we right. drive the Wrecking Ball car up next to the tower. All right. Jerry in the back. You got the uh, the uh, stats for it? Yeah. You got it pulled up. Uh, wrecking Ball. Ba-ba-da, melee attack. Come on. Be good. Be good. Dub- remember, double the damage if it's an object or structure. That's right. Oh, awesome. Okay, so I got a t- I got a ten, so I just need a nine to hit, right? The tower, uh, w- plus nine to hit, or is that is that adding nine to your dice roll? Correct. Yes. Oh, okay, cool. So I got a nineteen. Yeah, that'll you you make good contact. Let's see how much damage you do to the tower. Are you guys just watching while this is going on? Or are you? Yeah. Okay. I'm not gonna shoot seat. arrows at it. If it if it starts z- zapping us, then I'm. Well, we'll see. We'll see. Might have to peel away and try to crash into it. <laughs> Might not come to that, though. Is there, like, an inside to this tower at all? Like, Ooh, uh, we'll find out 31. once we the outside. Oh, sorry, 35 plus 4. You doubled it? No, I didn't double it yet. So Please double it. 68. Okay, 68. It uh, does a you you dented this thing up and the tower goes give it another one jair (laughs) like what is that does it does it visibly shift at all oh yeah yeah sorry i'm not looking i'm not looking at zoom right now uh let's see oh nice 23 yes sir okay let's see if i can where did i put that okay Nice. Nice. Jarvis, be ready to save that unicorn's life if this thing falls over. Is Jerry having the time of his life just swinging this wrecking ball? <laughs> uh, another another uh, 35. Oh, sorry, plus four, 39. Not doubled? No, sorry. Uh, 78? 78, yeah. Okay, this time it's it goes it sways like a few degrees. I'm gonna make almost you... there, almost the there, book Jerry. says it has this many hit points. Damn it! <laughs> oh no! Uh, so r- real quick, Jerry's 13. the one ramming it. Who else is? Who's outside of the vehicle? Me. All of you. You too. And Lulu. Right. I'm in. I'm in the driver's seat. Oh okay. right. So you guys could help, but you don't need to really. <laughs> We have a very effective machine built for this purpose. Lulu, get up there and push. <laughs> I think it's swaying uh, a little bit. Seeing this is 30, working. 37 times 2, 74. Uh, it's, it's, it creaks further and it shifts down into the ground. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, hold on. It's still up. <laughs> Hit it again. I'm going to jump over and Nat to, 20. The, to the driver's nice. seat. Ooh, now it's going to be double doubled. Um, <laughs> to the driver's seat of the so other right car, now. right? <laughs> to the other car. Okay. With the grappling hook thing. Okay. So you can't drive and use a grappling hook, just obviously. Correct. Yeah. Yep. No, I'm just poised in that car. All right. So do I double the plus four? Yeah, double double. Oh, fuck. Uh, let's Come see. on. So that's Quick math. 68 times 2. There it is. 136. There so it when is. You swing, when you swing the ball, uh, it goes through portion of the tower, and the tower starts to fall towards you and the car you're in. Back up, back up, is, back up, is, back up, back up. Is the force field still up? The the sphere. I moved cars. It. I'm not in the driver's seat anymore. It's still it's oh, floating G- down with Jerry. the, with the uh... Jerry does like a All right. as, save, jump save Jerry. As the... I run what? towards Jerry and I cast the sec uh, fourth level Athletics? fly. Cast a fourth level fly on myself and Jerry. Okay. 
Okay. Yeah, uh, I still and need then... a deck save from Jer. Oh, you're running up to him and touching him. Also yeah. a deck save. Yeah. Okay. Uh, deck save. So I can't use uh... your barbarian. I can't ability. use athletics. Fourteen Just for use me. Your deck save. Oh, got it. Uh, thirteen. Okay. You guys are able to fly away or move away uh, as this thing slowly goes. And the ball containing the unicorn floats slowly down to the ground. And as the ball touches the ground, the force field slowly goes away. Hmm. And before you, you see a multicolored hmm. unicorn. Uh, clearly an intelligent being just by looking uh, at its eyes. Um much more intelligent than any horse you've ever looked at. Uh, and it's got the stereotypical horn coming out of its head. And it uh, says to you guys in any of you speak celestial. I don't nope. nope. I think so. You hear a bunch of, of breathy. Does Lulu? Oh, yeah, Lulu does. Um, of course she does, I think. I'll just, just double check. check. I would also guess she does. Yeah, i double check she does. Uh, Lulu says, uh, guys, um, this is Moonbeam. And uh, she says, thank you. And I'm going to go because I don't feel good about this whole thing. And I'm really torn and I'm partially nauseated. All right, Lulu. And I'm gonna stay over there. And uh, the unicorn, Lulu says something else to the unicorn, and the unicorn uh, says something in Elvish. Do you guys, any of you speak Elvish? I'm sure the elf does. I do, yeah. Uh, and um, she says, do you speak Elvish? Oh, good. Okay. I'm Moonbeam. Hi, Moonbeam. And I, yeah. I'm Jarvis. Nice to meet you, Jarvis. What clan of elf are you from? Uh. God, I do not remember. Hold on. I have to know my character. What is this? Uh, <laughs> I haven't had to recall this in a long time. No. I don't even recall if you ever said that you had a clan or anything. I, I, I don't. I just make it looked. up on the spot. Yeah, improv. Let's McLeod's. go. Clouds. Go for it. What kind of uh, elf are you? Uh, your clan? Unite the clans. Like. <laughs> don't don't filter yourself. Come on. Give give me give me a word. Let's go. Clan of the tree folk. Okay. <laughs> oh, the tree folk. That's very vague, but it answers my question <laughs> nevertheless <laughs> tells you to say the first thing that comes to your mind then shits all over it. <laughs> <laughs> oh man oh. Uh, <laughs> i mean the first thing that came to my mind was far terrible and i went with the throwing that one in the trash can uh, um, moonbeam goes it. Excellent, Jarvis. Are any of you in need of any healing as a thank you? Uh, any anyone here? Anyone here hurt? Anyone need any help? Uh, I'm solid right now. I'm keeping it 100 over here. Yeah, we need plenty of help. Could could Moonbeam come with us? I I, I meant healing. Oh, but, but possibly. Oh, sorry, lost in translation. No, I'm good. <laughs> um. Hmm. Yeah. No, no, we're 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 good. We're all we're all well rested. Thank you. Okay. If there's nothing else, um Tell Moonbeam no, we, that we, we freed her. Yeah, it, we, he. we we were hoping actually there there is something else. We were hoping that you could come with us. Uh we, we need your help on, on an adventure, uh since we freed you before you go. And what is this adventure? Um 
What'd she say, Jarvis? She she wants to know what we need her help with. She's uh, looking back and forth at everyone. And I'm 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 are... actually gonna talk to uh Rollercoaster message. Um and so she can't hear this conversation. Um, okay. Uh tell Jerry her Jerry distracts distracts the unicorn and he's just like, Can I ride you? Uh no, that's not not going to happen right now. But who who gets to ride you? Why is your friend who was talking to me all of a sudden start covering his mouth? Well, I wouldn't be. He's... Wouldn't would I be? I wouldn't be covering my mouth. I would just be. And Jerry, yeah, so there's Jerry. Come, this you have is, to do things, Casper. This is is happening. This conversation's happening in your head. It's telepathy. Oh, got it. Um, yeah, he's just he's just super weird. <laughs> wow. Yes. What a jerk. <laughs> Jarvis, tell Moonbeam. I think that's true. Oh. That Jerry, Jerry would say that he's not lying. Uh, Jerry's kind of a jerk. Jerry's also flying around right now. I'm um, still in your arms. <laughs> no, no you, I cast, cast fly, fly on you. You can fly oh, right now. I can, can fly, fly. I can fly. I can fly. I can fly. I can fly. No, I was. Um, I was completely expecting us to need to do something to catch this. Uh, unicorn before it fell, so I totally was going to use your help, but I wasted that spell. Unicorn, do you do you want to fly? I can pick you up. We can go for a ride. You can ride me. <laughs> I'm okay right now. I I'm a- actually getting now that I'm free, more and more anxious to get out of hell. Tell her we know of a way, and that's what we're. Oh, wait, I can't hear that. Yeah, Jerry we. Can? I don't think either of us can, right? Only no. It's only Jerry. Yeah. Jarvis, tell her we're on a mission, and we are trying to. Are would I know if unicorns are celestial beings? I know you said you spoke it, but like, is that like a known thing? Make a Arcana check or history check, and you also know that this is this being or religion is considered an innocent. Yeah. Why am Why am I the only one talking to? I thought I said Jarvis was. Talking I was, to but I paused because Jarvis can't think of an excuse, so Jarvis phoned a friend. Jarvis 13. just basically like turned away and covered. I his know, mouth. but, but why are start, other people using me Moon, to talk to? Moonbeam started talking to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. In got your it. head. In your head. Yeah. No, I got it. I got that part. <laughs> but why is everyone trying to communicate through me? We're not. We're not. We we retcon that because we. Uh, Rob Got realized it. he can't hear your conversation yeah. at all. So, uh, yeah, Rollercoaster is talking to me. Then I'm like, Got it. That Got it. I thought you were talking to me. Jerry okay. or Jarvis couldn't think of talking excuse, to me? A, a full blown excuse. You talking to me? Just look I rolled in the direction 13. of the box of the character you're talking to. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, you, you, you uh, know it's a celestial being. Okay. Uh, tell her we're trying to redeem Zeriel and we're on a mission to like redeem her and we need the unicorn's help. And where where are we suggesting we take her to? The, to fucking Archon. So we're you don't need to tell her that. Tell, tell no, her we're what going area, that what, way. what general area? Yeah. Fucking hell. All I right, don't cool. know. <laughs> Over there. Cool. I'll point in that general direction um, <laughs> since I have no idea in real life where that is. But um. Yeah, no, we're are, do you do you know do you know Zeriel? The fallen angel? Yes. The archduke of hell? Yes. What of her? Um well, how do you, how do you feel about Zeriel? I think she deserves to be smited. Would would you be willing to to join us in that endeavor? Last time I that's how I got down here. Last time I did that, I was put in a demon zapper. I, I think we we can help you, and, and we can take care of Zeriel once and for all if you come with us. That's where we're headed right now. Make a persuasion check. I'm going to say persuasion be- and not an additional deception check because we're it's not, not lying. A, it's <laughs> not an. It's like a half. It's it's, it's like half truth. You're keeping things. Yeah, it's just persuasion. <laughs> 
Roll I well. Have, we have different tactics. Oh, five. Straight up. She lives. goes. <laughs> I mean, you have like Ollie, who should be doing the talking, but uh, I can't. In unfortunately, this I'm the only well. one. I have like zero. My charisma is plus zero. I'm the worst person to be having this conversation. Uh, she goes. Oh, that. I was. I'm trying to get out of hell as soon as possible. Uh, I. I don't think. From from what we learned, I don't think sh- you're going to be able to get out. She's she's so powerful that you know. I think the only way is going to be to destroy her. Oh, I have abilities to get out. Like what? Innate abilities. <laughs> but I mean, you would you would still be here if it wasn't for us knocking down this demon zapper. I think and you. I think you thankful. owe it to us to help us. I can craft you a garland of flowers. I, I don't want a garland of flowers. And I messaged a rollercoaster and Ollie. She, she doesn't want to help us. She wants to bounce. Well, of course she wants to bounce. We're in fucking hell. We have to convince <laughs> you, her to you, not bounce. Do you have any ideas to convince her? Because it's not working right now. She's yeah, not listening to me. Lie your ass off to her. I did. She saw right through it. Uh, well, it's not my fault. What do you want? I'm a bad liar. You know me. <laughs> Why'd you lie to her then? What do you want me to tell her? We want to sacrifice her? Well, no, that's a terrible <laughs> idea. Well, then what do you want me to do? He says out loud, and then the DM checks to make sure that the unicorn doesn't speak common. <laughs> no, this is totally in, no, this is in message. This is 100% in message right now. <laughs> what do you want me to do? It's just yell whispering. Well, I guess I do. We kill her. I did. That's not going to work. It's, we're supposed to have her alive. I, well, you told me to stop putting things to sleep, so I can't do that anymore. We told you to stop doing that because it wasn't working. Well, <laughs> it would have worked this time now, wouldn't it? Go for it. I can't. Give it a whirl. I can't. I don't think Ollie's ever told him to stop putting people to sleep. Oh, you know That's what? Correct, yeah, the, all, this is, but he's heard this the story is, by now. Did you not prepare sleep? <laughs> <laughs> I stopped preparing no. it because we've at, shamed it off of his. His assholes fellas. have shamed me so much that I can't do it anymore. I just can't do it. <laughs> Couldn't do it in the first place. I mean, I could. I just put my own party to sleep instead. To be fair. One of you talk to this horse. I, um, the horse starts uh, druid crafting garlands of flowers that quickly. I I, I told you I don't want flowers. Dry. We we just really want your help. Oh, I'm sorry. I'll I, take I'll take no one. need to get angry. I'm not. I'm and not angry. And the, the unicorn puts uh, her head down and allows you to take a garland that's quickly wilting before your eyes. I take the garland and I put it on. Now now will you come help us, please? No, I don't want to die down here. I don't want to be put in another infernal trap. I'm going to cast uh <laughs> I'm going to cast suggestion. Uh-huh. And I haven't done this yet. I think I have to do one sec. What if I fly you there? Rosella is just chilling by the broken down tower watching you say that to you to okay. uh, moonbeam jerry okay, so yeah first i i guess first i have to cast um detect thoughts and that is a um why is this sorry this is the first time i've used uh, it it's a dc save you... 13 okay one sec moonbeam says to you jerry um very like placating kind of uh i i just really want to get out of hell this is hell you do know you're in hell yeah we're trying to get get our city back or a city back not our city but so once we do that we're going to get out of here too you can come with us I, I will definitely, once I get out of here, put in some good words in Mount Celestia about your 
deeds and hopefully they'll send someone to help. Uh, and on the detect thoughts, Jarvis, uh, what type of save was it? It doesn't actually say. So I think you get uh, surface thoughts to begin with without a save. And then if you want to probe further, you can. And that requires a save. Okay. Yeah, I'm looking. It says detect thoughts and suggestion both are just DC save 13, but it doesn't tell me what kind of save it is. So detect thoughts, surface thoughts are just that. She wants to get the hell out of here. And uh, she's very nervous about... She's happy she's free, but also very nervous about just standing out in the open of hell. Uh, and to cast Suggestion, uh, you, uh, what type of save was it? It doesn't say. Um, actually, Surely. let me go to the actual spell instead of the... the yeah, just go to the sh spell. Yeah. Surely. Uh, so this is a Wisdom 13. And you feel the suggestion take hold. What would you suggest? Um, I'm going to suggest her to come with us, and I can hold it for it's a concentration up to eight hours. So okay. I'm, I'm basically suggesting for her to come, come with us willingly to uh, our final destination. Okay. Uh you think she's going to come with you guys? She says, okay. Uh, do you guys, any of you remember how long it took you to get there? Probably more than eight hours. Didn't have to sleep in the one trip. So. By the way, uh, Jerry, I hope you weren't flying when I did that because I had to drop my concentration on you. Sorry. Whoa. <laughs> were, you, were, you, were you flying, Jerry? Yeah, I think I was. How, how high up do you think you were flying? Yeah, it was like 20 feet. Okay. I was trying to talk the... Uh, I was like, come on, Unicorn. Make an acrobatics let me, uh... save or check. Make an acrobatics check. Uh, I have advantage on athletics. Or what do you say? Acrobatics? Never mind. Correct. Uh, four. <laughs> You take four points of damage as you are not expecting the ability to just be gone. Ah. Hit the ground, maybe tweak your knee a little bit, but you're okay. Uh, so it Jarvis, did take less than a day, but we did also get a bit lost going on the way there. True. You should be okay. All right. So, are we good? Sounds like we're yeah. good. Yeah. It, can she keep up with the car? I was thinking we might have to get her in the car. Well, she. Hey, Moonbeam, do you want to hang out in this uh, grappling hook thing? It's comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> she says to you, "Oh no, I'm. I'd rather not be in a, another. You know, trap in like chain in chains, essentially." Well, that's fair. Uh, can you run fast? You can run fast. You got, you got nice. I legs. can. How fast does your machine go? Uh, Three unicorns per second. I'll just run as fast as I can, and don't. If you obviously can go faster, don't. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll, yeah, we'll match pace. Sounds good. Right. Everybody in the car. Yep. I hop in the driver's seat. Okay. Get out. Got a sparkly. We got the grappling unicorn. Hook one, by the way, right now, guys. You got the grappling the damaged one. No, um, that's the undamaged one. Okay. I uh, also don't no longer have a transmutation stone, so hopefully we don't get hit because that went bye bye. Uh, Lulu is oh, distraught me, yeah. and mumbling to herself, and I can't. She's just talking about you guys uh in how evil this is and uh <laughs> she is not happy i invite lulu to sit up in the driver's seat with me and we spend the drive and then I, I encourage her and try to get her to see the greater good here <laughs> make a uh, persuasion <laughs> check or deception 
I don't yeah. know. <laughs> Let's be real. Ollie's deceiving her. <laughs> Ollie knows he's full of shit. Uh, <laughs> got a nat one for an 11. <laughs> wow. Lulu's gonna hate me. Lulu <laughs> is basically just like, what is wrong with you? Why? <laughs> no, Lulu, I'm not. Where did you guy. learn? Where, you, that is not any sort of teaching that I've ever heard in heaven. No, trust me. It's a communication thing happening here. It's not, you're just not, I'm not putting in the right words. We're cool, right? <laughs> We're cool, right? No, we are not cool. I'm going to the back and I'm going to try and figure out how I can justify this. Or I don't know what else I'm going to do. You know what? You know what? Go talk to Jerry. He, uh, he'll he lift your spirit. Guaranteed. Every time. Jerry, this is just so wrong. <laughs> and Ollie tried to, Ollie tried to convince I know. He was talking I know. About- it's he crazy. Talking, it's, he was talking about men. I, I wish we having, didn't have to do having, this. I wish we didn't have to do this, but pff, you know, you guys do, keep on telling me go get this, go get that. I, I'm just I'm as helpless as you. He was making I just things go up about it. Mount Celestia and, and there being like all sorts of brothels and stuff, and and it's just not true. He's just like trying to say it's all okay once it's justified, and it was just. Ah, really, I'm sure you just misheard him. It's fine. Yeah. I did not. This team, man, we're just a just a crazy bunch. <laughs> this is wrong. Ah, uh, we can get lost again, or uh, speaking of which, somebody make a survival check. All right, and I'm gonna roll. You won't give me two nat ones in a row, right? Can I? Can I guide you? Can I be your oh, Google can you? Maps? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, can, can you from wherever we're sitting? Because I don't trust my. I dad prefer map quest. Thank you. <laughs> nice. Are you guiding him? Can I? Is that, yeah, is that allowed? Yeah. yeah, go for it. To eighteen. Wait, guidance just gives him a D four, right? No, 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 no. Oh, I was trying to like physically gu- guide him. guide him. Oh, be, doing be the survival the check. Yeah, oh, I, I was like, you know. I thought, the guide, I thought you meant guidance. Okay. No, no, no. Being like okay. the passenger and being like, all right, make a left here. All right. Uh, you, you're pretty. Your things have shifted on the sands and the plains of the of Avernus. Of course. Uh, as you're used to, you've been traveling it. Um, uh, but you feel like you're directionally heading in the right area. You do have a bright, sparkly unicorn traveling next to you you guys are going at half speed because of uh the the limits of the unicorn's speed um and so that will require i'm gonna have you guys roll uh to see if anyone notices someone roll me uh 2d20s i'll get one of them i'll get the other mine's an 18 okay Rolled one. I got a four. Well, we don't know. We don't know what this is for. This is maybe true. mine's bad. Yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> so maybe it's good that we rolled one of each. Um, you guys are good for the beginning portion of this journey. It's taking much longer than you thought it would because of the speed. So uh, make another one, both of you. How long was that portion of the journey in time? Uh, we're about to five. Five. Good call on that. Before the rolls occur, uh, Jarvis, you're aware that the spell is about to. You got a couple minutes until the spell wears off. Where are we going hey, for eight hours? Hey, hey guys, we. Uh, I don't think I can hold this much longer. Um, I can only. Do it again. She's galloping. I, and I think. Um, I can only. I I can only do this once. I can't do it again. I can't do it again. I start making a lasso out of some rope. I can't do it again. Jer, get the get the grappling thing ready. <laughs> okay. We so, start edging the vehicle closer. Uh-huh. <laughs> kind of like getting slightly Steadily ahead. Closer. Yeah. Slightly yeah. ahead. Yep. Um and uh 
the Should plan we just is grapple to... her now while she's still under the spell? Yes. Yes. Okay. <laughs> What's the uh let me look at your for, for what mechanic game. is, yeah. Right. So we're on the scavenger now, right? Whoever's don't yeah. we yeah. don't we have yeah. the vehicle with the claw? Yeah, yeah, that's okay. what we're talking about. Got it. Oh, okay. Uh, whoever's on the claw <laughs> escape is not it's, the... uh 21 you successfully grapple the unicorn and it's telepathically you can see it uh, did you uh do a dc uh it's it's trapped now it's going to uh it's going to attempt to get out in a second here um but just before that you look in its eyes as you grapple it, and there's a look of betrayal in its eyes, and it says to you telepathically, Jerry, what are you doing? Just doing what I gotta do. Sorry, man. <laughs> or, uh, we never did get your pronoun, <laughs> but she. sorry, you. Uh, okay. And, uh, yeah, she is going to. Um... Are you not? Remind me of a suggestion. You can't suggest other things during the eight hours. To the, to the best of her ability, she has to follow what we were doing, and then. Uh... So have you been like telling her to not? And then I can. Sp I would have had to specify conditions. I believe at the start. Uh, the suggested course of actions can continue for the entire duration. The suggested activity can be completed in a shorter time. The spell ends. So I don't believe that I can up it. Okay. Um. Yeah. Uh. The spell ends, and uh, she starts struggling with the. Uh, with the grappling claw and successfully gets out of it um, <sighs> and it gallops away from you guys and says, you guys are evil like everyone else in uh, in Elvish. So I guess only one of you. What'd she say? <laughs> she said we're all evil. Let's go get her. And then as she's galloping, you hear a <laughs> and she's gone. Poofs out of uh your your vision and uh you're in the middle of a in the of the plains of avernus and um what do you do be. well fuck I'd what talk. i what i while she was trying to do that it might be too late now um i should have just cut you off and asked but well i've done that would it look like she was casting a spell of some sort that i could have counterspelled you didn't think she was casting any okay. spells, innate innate ability. Got it. Okay. Well, back down to only one innocent, guys. Yeah, I mean... All of you hear some chuckling in your head. <laughs> <laughs> you guys hear that? Oh, my. That's what, mighty entertaining. Yeah, I heard that. Not trick. much planning in this group, is there? We're doers. <laughs> Fly by the seat of our pants, sort of thing. I have an offer for you. Who is who's speaking? Yeah, who is you? We'll leave that to mystery. I swear to God, being. if this is a telemarketing group call, <laughs> that is illegal. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I say to him. <laughs> <laughs> the voice Ooh, just ignores yeah. it. And I'm going to call you mystery. And the voice says, I can provide you with some of the things you need to... You need an innocent. Further your journey, I <laughs> just require something in return. And... Our names and addresses, right? Right? <laughs> Not Jerry has quite. told us about every single one of these calls. I would require <laughs> some of your fortune, some of your luck. 
some of my soul, I'm assuming. It's a very small portion of what makes you, you. It... All, Ollie, haven't you already given up some of your soul? Do you want to give up a little more to this guy? No, what's a, what's a little even... more going to hurt? Look, the guy I gave my soul to just a little bit. He was real hot. So unless this guy All wants to walk forward and show, show his face. All of you would be required to give up your fortune. How about we give you the soul of the unicorn? The unicorn's gone. You don't have the unicorn, you... dummy. <laughs> yeah, we just got laughed at for losing. <laughs> So, like, how much are we talking here? What are you really, yeah. what are you taking from me? Just your fortune. Like, does that mean I'm going to lose, that is... like, every coin flip for the rest of my life? Because I can work with that. I mean, it's reliable, You're... at least. You will be less lucky as I, de whatever I determine to be necessary. And what do you have to offer? I can deliver your unicorn directly to you or directly anywhere you want it to be and make sure it cannot escape. You're going to have a vial of Tiamat's blood laying around, do you? No, I do not. That would require much, a much bigger bargain. Surprisingly enough, uh, I think it would actually only require a unicorn. But that's for us. I mean, what do you say, guys? We we got two options I see right here, uh, ourselves or, uh, no offense, Lulu, but Lulu. You guys are going to give me up? No. You guys no. are going to sacrifice me? <laughs> no, no. We haven't what? decided yet. This is, you guys are evil. <laughs> and she no. starts crying silent, quietly to herself. Ollie. Ollie. Just leave Lulu alone for a little bit. I, I, it's not going well today, man. It's not going well. <laughs> Try tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. That's how it goes sometimes. Try tomorrow. It's like when the smoothest guy you know <laughs> meets somebody who just sees right through the bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So do we have a deal? Can you put the unicorn somewhere else <laughs> in yes. a little bit? I can put the unicorn wherever you like it. But at any given point in time, or does it have to be right now? Uh, what it, are you... I would like to get to the place we need to go first and then have the unicorn appear. I can do that. That just seems like the best course of action if we're going to do this. Just in time delivery. Yeah. So how do we reach you? Do we just kind of shout into the air in four or five hours? Oh, uh... I've been keeping an eye on you, so it's I'll uh, I'll know when you get to your destination, and when you require it, I will present it with a bow on top, if you like. Sounds good, mystery. Real quick, uh, I go all catnippy, um, and I look around. Is there any like magical auras emanating anywhere near us? Uh, you look around other than what's on your person and the group's uh, uh, person. Uh, you don't see any other auras or anything like that. No hovering, scrying eyes or nonsense? Okay. No. <clears throat> yeah. So, do we have a deal? I don't see any other way around this, guys. Yeah, I mean, I see the one, but we've covered that one. I Sorry, mean, bring it up again. What does it Sorry. feel, what, what does it feel <laughs> like, Ollie? What does it feel like to give away? I mean, soul? that time it was awesome. I mean, look at my eyes right now. Do you see? You, you we're all glowing the coolest colors. It paid off really well for me, if you ask me. Does it like Does it come back to bite you at all, though? No. Yes. Yes. Travis, you've regret. read enough. I'm not even gonna make you roll. You've read enough about warlock packs, um, that like 
that can't be guaranteed at all. I mean, nope. unless, I, unless either I'm lying or it just hasn't happened. Yet. <laughs> and, or or maybe like Jarvis is choosing to like he's 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 trying to make himself believe it uh, and trying to get. Yeah. Even though he knows better, Jarvis <laughs> also knows that it's partially his fault that this damn thing got away. <laughs> yeah, no, it feels great. I mean, it did that time. Uh, continues to. Can 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 we get this in like some form of a written contract? If you require a contract, I can definitely make that happen. I was just going to make it a your word is your bond sort of thing i'll take a verbal agreement myself okay i just wanted to read the fine print but i guess that works i don't I can... leave an opportunity for fine print <laughs> i can i can assure you uh it's a simple transaction So contract for Jarvis. No, I'll take the verbal. Everyone else. Verbal. I'll take is. a verbal. YOLO. Okay. Jerry, are you in on this? Yep. All you need to do is say I agree out loud. I agree. I agree. I agree. <laughs> I want to know what color your skin is first. <laughs> Those of you who have have said I agree, you feel like a <laughs> in your chest, like a like a like someone just hit your chest. It doesn't knock the wind out of you, but it's just like like something happened there. Uh, and the voice goes, "Oh my, the color of my skin." I've met uh, like a, a variety of devils and demons. I assume you're a devil. Uh, it's just curious. Uh, right now, I've chosen purple. Good choice. I like that one. Yeah, right, yeah, I agree. <laughs> Boom! Hits your chest, <laughs> uh, and uh, the voice goes. It's been fun watching you. I'll have the unicorn ready when it's needed have a good trip and then nothing well that worked i think maybe who Hopefully. knows either that or we just got totally ripped off i start flipping a coin you guys you guys are I heard you guys talking. You guys agreed to 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 something with an unknown person. You guys were in such a bad negotiating position. Do you, Lulu, did... it was to save your life. Okay, we did it for you. She goes quiet. <laughs> the fun part is Rollercoaster is lying, and I just start to walk away. <laughs> oh, my oh, oh god, damn it! Podcast. Wait a minute. I'm technically so... not. <laughs> Yeah, so, so no, trying. but Ollie needs to make a deception check. <laughs> <laughs> and then Rollicos needs to make a persuasion oh, check. Man. Then Lulu needs to make an insight <laughs> check. <laughs> Mine's an 18. Okay. Mine's a 12. Okay. Uh, well, she she believes uh, Ollie. Uh, <laughs> oh, and she goes... Why would you lie to me, Rollercoast? <laughs> Have you been listening to Ollie all day? He's a con man. You're telling me he just he he was so sincere right then. He was he was he, he literally all day. made you cry an hour ago. <laughs> yeah, and he was full of shit that whole time, and that he his demeanor changed in that second. Listen, okay. I mean, actions speak louder than words. I don't Although know they were to... all just words. <laughs> I don't know who to believe or what to believe anymore. Well, I am so years. conflicted. Just think on it. From 20 feet away, I turn around and just go, didn't have to wait till tomorrow, Rollercoast. Can <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, I get she, back in the car? <laughs> <laughs> she, uh, she just resumes her position in a... Uh, in a uh, next to a the wall of the car uh in a corner and is just has her trunk wrapped around her 
and uh, her ears covering her face. And you guys continue on your journey. What were those two rolls a long time ago? You can roll them again for survival to navigate five. Hey, and a... mine was a five. Okay. Oh, for survival. Oh. Never mind. No, not the survival roll. This, these were just the two d twenties we rolled. Yeah, the uh, the uh, they're essentially encounter checks. Um, yeah, gotcha. I rolled an yeah, eight. Mine was a five. Okay, eight and a five. Okay. All right, you guys. Now with uh, being able to travel at full speed, I believe it's a hundred. How how are we looking on fuel, Ollie? Uh, you are looking at a half tank. Beautiful. We good. I also got more. And you're coming up to familiar a familiar familiar area uh nearing Arkun's tower. Uh, I'm gonna read the box text again in case I didn't previously. A dark tower looms on the horizon, its black spire rising hundreds of feet. Its ramparts bristling with charred skulls mounted on iron spikes. The tower's apex splits into five narrower spires that jab at the sky like clawed fingers. Circling above the tower's peak is a great white dragon stained with ash and soot. Familiar white dragon. As you get closer, you notice figures shuffling atop its ramparts, undead guards in various states of decay. And uh, as you approach, uh, the dragon swoops down in front of the tower and then pauses for a few seconds and then resumes flight towards you. What do you guys do? I start shouting at the top of my lungs to not kill us this time. <laughs> and you see, you see a familiar turtle with... Uh, very sharp uh, shell. I don't know what the individual segments of a turtle shell are called, but their individual segments are sharp on this turtle. Um, Kroll is riding on the back of Abtala, the white dragon. And uh, you guys stop the vehicle. Mm -hmm. yes, okay. Sir. And the dragon lands shaking, earth shaking, uh, before it, Kroll climbs off, walks towards you, and says, Do you have the innocent? Uh, hold on one second. Wait, hey, wait, guy. wait, we need to be ready first for you. Wait. We do. I mean, or if you bring her back, she might be. try to run away. We might need to have something prepared to stop her. No, He's, no, he said, said it that. can't. Oh, that's right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. Yeah. Forgot. So I'm going to try this again. Uh, hey, hey, guy. Uni unicorn delivery. Right. Um, yeah. And you hear. Uh, and before you is a familiar globe and a chain attached to it and a <laughs> different unicorn inside the globe. Blue, uh, bluish, bluish colors on this one and uh emaciated well i have mixed feelings about this not being the one that we thought but sure this works innocent unicorn there you go kroll kroll's face uh if you little the little emotion it can show looks surprised you would guess and uh says to you guys well that will do Please follow me. And one of you grabs the chain attached to the orb containing the unicorn, and you follow Kroll. He already <clears throat> hates me. I'll do it. Okay. <laughs> uh, you follow Kroll up to the tower, and uh, you get closer. And you see the familiar young dragons of various colors kind of hanging out on the tower and off the tower and they're all eyeing you suspicious suspiciously and uh kroll says archon is convening with the mother of dragons and should be back any moment 
And you guys got some time. So he already has the blood. He doesn't have to ask her for some. So that'd be really inconvenient timing. Oh, he has the blood. Uh, You guys got a certain amount of time uh, if you want to do anything. I eat some cat snacks while we wait. Uh, Ollie, would you like cat snacks? Yes. Absolutely, I would. Are we starting to feel tired at this point? Or because we've been getting there all day? Yeah. Okay. Um, did he give us a relative ETA on when Archon would be back in terms of like within an hour, or within eight hours, something like that? He did not. When you ask, he says, I will check one moment, please. And he walks off and uh, you see him cast a spell and comes back and says, change of plans we will be meeting him at the monument it should and you as i described last time this tower sits at the mouth of a canyon and uh kroll is motioning towards the canyon uh that we need to go inside the canyon and you will need to follow me to get to the monument to Tiamat and you follow and it's pretty narrow and then it opens up to a larger area and you see a colossal dragon skull uh, leaning against a mountainside surrounded by bones the size of houses acrid smoke rises from the skull's maw a military tent has been pitched among the bones and parked next to it is a two-wheeled infernal war machine. Gathered around the tent are a dozen chattering reptilian humanoids with gleaming swords, white scales, and white leathery wings. And as you approach the those uh, white humanoid dragon people, uh, have a aggressive stance and then once Kroll kind of puts his hand up they relax they're still on guard a little bit uh, but people seem to not be uh, obviously attacking you uh, and um, he says wait here I shall go in the tent and let Archon know and Kroll goes off. And I cast Eagle Splendor on myself with Enhance Ability. Okay. That's a wisdom thing or a sight thing? That gives me uh, Eagle Perception. Splendor's advantage on charisma checks. Oh. That's weirdly why enough. Named, why is it named that? Uh, the wisdom one is Owls. Okay, that makes sense. But e Eagle know. Splendor is charisma. Yeah, that one's a weird one. But that's what I'm going with. I don't know what I'd call it though, just off the top of my head. Right. What's a charismatic animal? <laughs> An otter. Puppy. Or a puppy. <laughs> puppy's uh, innocence. Yeah. I cast puppy's innocence <laughs> myself, and then I could tell a bunch of lies. <laughs> uh, anyway. About a minute or two later, you see a massive. I did not clip this picture of this minotaur. You see a massive minotaur black minotaur with uh tattoos t not not tattoos like carvings or, or like uh brands all in its skin and uh wearing gold uh gold uh trying to think of the medieval word for it essentially gold shorts uh and uh roman like a roman-esque type of gladiator thing and has got uh gold gauntlets on and uh it's very imposing uh comes out of the tent along with archon who i did clip and put it in the chat mm -hmm, mm -hmm. uh you notice immediately uh the left side of his body looks very green compared to his red scales 
uh, and also very necrotic and not lively. Uh, and walking over, they they come, and Archon says, "Do you have the innocent?" Yeah. Yep. Okay. Do you got the blood? reaches under some of his armor and you see a tiny, tiny, tiny little vial. And Archon says, the innocent Torgar is itching to have a bit of a gladiatorial match would any of you be interested or would you just like to make the exchange? Torgar's the Minotaur. I'm good, dude. I'm just here for the exchange. And when you say that, the Minotaur just goes <sighs> just kind of When you say jacked. gladiatorial match, what exactly do you mean here? <clears throat> Fisticuffs or... Uh... Full weaponry. Rastlin. Full weaponry. Oh, well. To uh, the death? Magic allowed? Magic is allowed, and any injuries sustained can be healed by Kroll. Hell yeah. Sounds fun, guys. Guys, Jer, Jer, it this sounds is, up your alley. Yeah. It's <laughs> like a 1v1 type thing, or like... <laughs> If all of you want to participate, I would participate along with Torgar. I'm like bouncing on my feet. I'm like, all right, yeah, no, this sounds fun. This yeah. These are the shiniest people we've seen since we've been in hell. All right, let's do this. All of you except Rollercoast? Oh, guys. I oh, mean, on, if you're come all going to do it, I guess <laughs> I have to. <laughs> but I really don't think this is a good idea. I just want to throw it out there in case we all die. He, he, he. You won't die. Yeah, he said he'd heal us, and everyone's trustworthy. He in said hell, he right? would heal right? our injuries. He didn't say he'd bring us back from the dead. But let's go. Let's go. <laughs> let's fight this guy that owns a tower and his pet minotaur. We, we could lose another Brian character. <laughs> and is and is and is the right hand man to Tiamat. Yeah. Yeah. Is Lulu gonna yeah. fight with us? You want to ask Lulu? Lulu, you want to gladiator it up? You, you shove it. <laughs> Sorry, you said that. Ooh, it might help you get some of that pent up anger out of you. You're smoking too strap. much catnip. Okay, that was a low blow, Lulu. <laughs> low blow. Good idea, though. <laughs> um. Oh, hey! Now that my eyes are all glowy, um, how much are these guys glowing? <laughs> well, they're glowing where you would expect that they're glowing uh archon's hand is fucking bright and very uh necrotic and but but not only necrotic it's it's many things it's many things and it's you it's very it's the it's the bell of the ball of all the glowing things uh so yeah it just gets me more excited i'm like hey guys we're fucked <laughs> 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 All right. Can do. Uh, I'm going to cast mage armor on myself before we start. Okay. Archon says to all of you, and you guys are in like an opening in this canyon, so the walls are are uh, pretty high, and it's about um, 100 feet diameter. Um, and uh, Archon says, you stand over there, we'll stand over here, and... Uh, when Kroll blows his horn, the battle starts. And he starts walking away. And uh, you guys are facing this massive dragonborn and this even more massive minotaur who is getting psyched up. Kind of reminds you of how Jerry has... has gotten upset in the past but not the same and Kroll stands in the middle 
and pulls out a horn and blows it. Let's roll initiative. What was the other, what was the dragon board's name? Archon? Or what was the other, sorry, what was the other one? Not Archon. Torgar is the Minotaur. Torgar, that's what I meant. Sorry. Ah! Jarvis, what initiative? Uh, Jarvis rolled a 22. Jerry. 16. Rollercoast. 16. Ollie. Be another nat one for a four. <laughs> uh, okay. Your dice today, man. Yeah, I'm changing them up too. They're, <laughs> they're not quite, they were awesome last night. That's what it is. You're not loyal. I, I was killing it last night. Some of your saves weren't too good. That's true. Yeah, that's uh, actually very true. My saves were awful. <laughs> but the attacks uh, were great. Yeah, they were. Uh, Jarvis, you're up first. Jarvis is going to just go big or go home and try to banish this Minotaur to get this fight started. Cool. What's the save? Oh. It's a charisma save of 15. Okay. <gasps> that's a 15. Lo siento mucho, senor. That sucks. That would have made this so much more fun. It would have. It would have been cool. <laughs> uh, the banishment, you you cast the spell, and Torgar starts to feel something, and he just flexes and starts getting even more. But you see, like, veins start popping in his body, and it starts going up his head, and you think, like, one of the veins in his head just burst because it's just a little part of his head pops out uh anything else you'd like to do uh i'm gonna hide behind uh someone uh, i'm gonna hide behind jerry okay is there anything else in this area to like no it's not pretty it's like an open? arena cool i'm hiding behind yeah. jerry yep that's the best uh the biggest thing to hide behind near you mm -hmm. uh rollercoast i get as far away as physically possible okay you're 80 feet away Okay, um, I will take my three shots. Last one. Yeah, which being, one? Uh, we're shooting at the Archon's in like full, like some heavy armor, right? He is in uh, plate. Plate, and I'm assuming the Minotaur's not dragon plate, uh, and he has a shield. The Minotaur is g pretty naked, other than what I described. Okay. Uh, I'm going okay. after the Minotaur, all sharpshooter. Okay. That one. That does not hit. 19. That does hit. 17. That does hit. Oh, fantastic. Do, do, do. Where's that die? All right, so that's 43 damage. Okay. And then I'm going to bonus action spiritual weapon. Okay. And have like a... How far can you cast that? So let me double check. I believe it's 30 feet. 60 feet. Okay, so you can get it close. Yeah. And then uh, that'll be all. It's okay. out there. All right. Jerry. I'm going to uh, great weapon master attack. Uh, let's see here. It's been a couple weeks since I did this. Uh, Are you raging first? Yes, I rage first. Uh, Features and traits. Uh, I'm, just, I'm just checking the, yeah, okay, it's a five penalty. Okay. So I will attack recklessly. Okay. All right. That did not help. Um, a 19 for the first one. Who are you attacking? My, which my which? plus two mall? Whoever's closest. I don't care. You can pick uh, the Minotaur or Archon the Dragonborn. I'll do Archon. Okay. 
Uh, what was what was your uh, roll to hit there? Nineteen. Uh, that does not hit. When you swing, uh, you hit his flint dragon plate, and uh, it deflects most of the force. Uh, okay. Take yeah. another swing. Yep. And that's another. That's even lower. So yeah. Okay. Uh, um. Oh, nice. Archon has some fucking cool abilities. Sure. As long as it's not uh, <laughs> psychic damage, I don't care. I'm sure he can do that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, it's Archon's turn, and he he uh, he chuckles he, to himself. Knocks Jerry into another dimension. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay. <laughs> All the options he has. Uh, I'm just gonna not fuck around. <laughs> Yet. Uh, okay. Got that. Got that. Uh, you see his left hand, Jerry... Uh, you saw it already, but being closer, it's much more disgusting than necrotic. Think of like a mummy, a mummified hand, uh, way skinnier than the rest of him. Uh, and uh, it uh, points at you. And you hear some cracking and some crinkling from it. And I need you to make a constitution saving throw is he casting a spell or is this another uh this is a spell yes okay so as i see him casting the spell i'm gonna counter spell that okay what level i'm gonna count at third level okay and remind me the roll uh again for it it is uh dc 10 plus the spell's level so it'd be a 13 Plus the spell you're trying to beat's level, correct? Correct. Yeah. Okay. So I know the DC. You need to roll for it, correct? Uh, yes. Uh, so is it just a straight roll for me, or is it... What is a oh, spell okay. so? Spell cast, I would guess it's a modifier. Oh, using your spell casting ability, yeah. So it would be 15. Okay. Uh, you cast counter spell, and Archon smiles at you with his many, many dragon <laughs> teeth as the spell goes through. And uh, <laughs> what is your constitution saving throw there, uh, Jerry? 20, 22. Yeah, figured you're pretty good at that. All right, so I need to get out my phone for this. <laughs> I mean, it's better that you 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 made the save. I'll tell you that. <laughs> if you could believe it, it's better that you made the save. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so you take... Twenty nine points of necrotic damage uh, that is not halved. Got it. All oh, right. Yeah, that's a cool thing too. Oh, all right. Uh, and boo boo boo. Friends of the undead forex. Okay, I got that. And that's Archon's turn. Toragar goes next, and he's going to make a run at uh, old Jarvis for the banishment attempt. Mm. And he's going to dash. Uh, because he's a minotaur, he gets an extra attack at the end of his dash and can get to you. Uh, and that's going to be Toragar. Oh, I used my reaction already. 
lucky for you, he didn't roll very well. Uh, I rolled a two, so that's a 13 to hit. Mm, it Not with my mage armor, thankfully. Goes off your mage armor as he lowers his head within the last 20 feet and uh, tries to gore you with his horns, and it, your mage armor saves the day. Uh, but you have a huge, massive, scary minotaur that uh, is bearing down on you and making all sorts of ragey noises. Ollie. I'm going to go after Torgar, who just attacked my wizard. You're very Um, close. I'm going to Hexblades curse him first. Okay. With my bonus action. Uh Uh-huh. Mark that off so I don't forget. Okay. And then I'm going to swing at him. All right. Swing. Ooh. Hexblades curse. It was a good idea because I rolled 19, which means it's a crit. Nice. Uh, So the first attack is a crit, and I'm going to do a mobile flourish. Okay. Mix it up. Um, What does that do? That is going to. uh, I'm not going to do that one because I already used. Hold on one sec. Let me reread it. It's been too long. Not a problem. Because I can close the ground that I push him using my reaction, which I still have. Never mind. Mobile flourish it is. Okay, so that's going to push him back some. And size doesn't matter? Uh, It does not. You push the target up to five feet plus the number rolled. Cool. Um, Okay, so red is my inspiration die, since that matters. So the first attack is 6-9, double to 18... And first attack is 26 points of damage. Copy. And he gets pushed back uh, away from Jarvis eight feet. Okay, you do not get an opportunity to attack Jarvis. No, correct. Um, But I use my my reaction to immediately close that distance and hit him again. Okay. And that is a 16 plus 9, 20 five okay yes that hits and because i don't want to die this attack is going to have a flourish as well because there's no limit on how many times you can do that on a turn okay um this one's going to be a defensive flourish though okay red didn't do me good so it's gonna be black black is now my inspiration die okay and it got the same number that the red gave me. <laughs> That's seven. 15 points of slashing damage, and my AC is boosted by three. Okay. All right. And all of the attacks on Torgar now, uh, you see, are uh, not doing as much damage as you think, similar to what you've seen with old Jerry. Yep. That is my whole turn. Okay. Yep. And back to the top. I got everybody right. Yeah, Jarvis, it's your turn. I'm going to haste uh, Jerry. And how, how next... far is the casting range on that? Well, I'm right next to Jerry. I'm by, I was right behind him. Jerry ran up to Archon. Oh, got it. Okay. I believe it is 30 feet. Let me just double check. 30 Add feet. Add six. Add six necrotic damage. Do okay. whatever having you need to do. Yeah. Uh, sorry. Is uh, Jerry within 30 feet of me still? Uh, No. You need to move uh, away. And thankfully, you're not within yeah. melee range. Okay. I'm going to hate. I'm going to go close enough to how far, clo- how far do I need to get to get to him? Um, You can use your movement to get close to him. Uh, you'll have like five feet left, but it's you're basically using most of your movement to okay. get within range. All right, so I'm going to go up to him and cast haste then. Okay. Anything else? Um, and then I'll use my additional five feet to start heading toward back towards Rollercoast. Okay. All right. Rollercoast. Two shots. Sharpshooter. Sure, sure. At Torgar? Yeah. Okay. 21. Yes. 24. Yes. Oh, and then the uh, 
Can I move my spiritual weapon 20 feet and also get it within range? Yes, we'll say so. Uh, 16? 16 damage? No, 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 no. 16 to hit for the spiritual weapon. I'll roll it. Uh, 16 does not hit. Okay. See a flare of magic from its bracers to flex it. 18 plus 18, 36 damage. Okay. And that now, uh, unlike your first hits, uh, seems less effective. Anything That's else? It for, that's it for me. Okay. Jerry, you're in front of Archon, the Cruel. All right. Uh, with my haste, uh, I guess that'll come into play later, but I'm going to uh, Swing away. Attack, attack recklessly. Oh, nice. Uh, that came in handy. Uh, so that's a 28. That does it. Nice. What is the damage? Um, plus two mall. Two d six. Oh, that sucked. Four. Ten, twelve. Is that it? And always with great weapon master. Uh, great weapon master. Oh, yeah. So I add 10. So it's 22 damage on that one. Okay. Swing again. Recklessly. Uh, 25? Yes. Nice. A little bit of damage. Uh, so that's uh, 14, so 24. Okay. And now this is my haste swing. Yep. That's a 23. Just hits. Ooh, nice. I did not think that was going to hit. Uh, five. Uh, 21. Okay. See, Archon looks kind of surprised as you bypass his armor and shield uh, and are actually doing damage to him. Three times. Uh, yeah. Nice, nice round. That is a quality round. All right. Thank you for the haste. Mm -hmm. So... Da, 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 reading a spell. All right. Uh, this is going to hit you with Fane Eater, his battle axe, and Let's get those done. See if he hits with his plus 18. Just kidding. It's only 13. <laughs> it's only 13, you guys. Uh, a 19, does that hit? No. Okay. I've put that with the plus two haste. I just barely missed that. Golf claps, Jerry. Golf claps. Uh, Archon is surprised again. 32 yes <laughs> and ouch and 29 on the uh last one Whew. okay so need that uh so that is 13 slashing damage plus 11 cold damage as the you feel the cold uh, affect your skin and uh, instant frostbite. So 24? Yeah. And then uh, the third hit is a 17 slashing and 10 more cold damage. Okay. And 27. 
Yes. And then I need to roll. Oh, okay. I need to do this for those two attacks. Okay. Got it. And that's Archon's turn. Torgar's turn is going to go after old Ollie. Reasonable. And gonna multi attack with the scimitars, massive scimitars. All right. A 21. Defensive flourish. No, nice. sir. <laughs> and less on the second one. And then the horns. 22? That is my AC. Okay. That one just barely gets me. Swings with the scimitars and then... Uh, Confidently, to... confidently dance out of the way right into his horns. Yep. <laughs> uh, so that's 17 piercing damage. Oh, jeez. Okay. Ollie, it's your turn. Ollie, it's my turn. Um, I... Um, as he uh, gets me with his horns, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say, "Your mother was a cow," <laughs> and vicious mockery him. Uh, okay. Because <laughs> wow, I can't It's been resist. a while since I've. <laughs> <laughs> uh, wisdom saving throw. Rolled a three, and he doesn't have high wisdom, so that's a two. All right, so he's gonna take this psychic damage. And the next attack roll is going to have disadvantage. Copy. A whopping seven points of psychic damage. Okay. <laughs> Worth it for the insult. I'm glad yeah. I got to call his mother a cow. Um, For my... Oh, that was dumb. He's like thinking to himself, a... why... Why? He's like, that shouldn't hurt my feelings, but it does. <laughs> it did. It did. I should have hexed him first, but of course I didn't do that. So now, in addition to my Hexblade's curse, I'm okay. also going to hex him. All so right. I'm layer on those curses. Okay. So he's currently hexed now. Yep. Just like the gladiators used to do. Mm -hmm. Just like. <laughs> and that is, uh, that's my turn right there. Okay. Jarvis. I'm going to start running towards uh, Rolikos, and okay. how can I, is there a spot, like is, is my party between the two of them? Or are they close They're in two together? different spots. Uh, Torgar and Ollie are between you and Rolikos, kind of. Got it. Okay, and but Ollie's on the inside. Uh, inside of what? Like, I'm basically wondering if I can get a fireball without hitting my party. Thank you for thank you. That's next time. Just yeah, sorry. Just tell means. me what you want to do. <laughs> sorry. Uh, so you want you can place the fireball. Yeah, you can do that. Can I get both of them or just without hitting my party? You can't or get Archon. He's okay. in a different spot. Okay, then I'm just gonna try to fireball. Um, throw a fireball at Torgar. Okay. And that's a deck save, if I remember. That it is. That is a fifteen. Fifteen, right on the dot. You so have you and this tying me it's twice. Yep. Uh, twenty-six halved, so uh, thirteen. Thirteen. Okay. And. Uh... Cool. Anything else? Uh, nope. 
Just my, move, just my movement towards just my coaster. movement towards roller coast. That's it. Okay. Two attacks at the Minotaur sharpshooter. Okay. Not one. Nope. Seventeen. Just hits. Oh, and then the spiritual weapon also. <coughs> spiritual weapon. This is. So 22 damage. Okay. And then just keeping as much distance as I can from everything. Okay. That's it. Jerry. Attacking Jerry. recklessly, I got a 28, a 23, and a 19. So I assume. I forgot you attacked recklessly last time. Yeah, I was going to ask you Archon. that about that uh, 19 that you threw at me, but only after my turn was over. Uh, so 28, 23. Um, uh, assume those yeah, both they hit still. Hit. Okay. Yes, those both hit. Damage could not be worse. Uh, Twenty one for the first okay. one. Nice. Ah, could not be lower. Uh, Twelve, twenty, thirty damage on the second one. Okay. Archon's looking. This is with the third hurt. Uh, it's now Archon's turn. Yeah, for a character like this, there's no point in not doing recklessly because I'm going to get hit no matter what. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, uh, he's going to hit with Fane Eater. That's a 25 on the first one. And a 19 does not hit, correct? Correct. Wow. Catching a break here. And a natural 20. Damn it. <laughs> Spoke too soon. And that just made up for the miss. That he is. What type of damage is this? 22 slashing damage on the first hit plus six cold damage. And the natural 20 will be. Oh. Uh, <laughs> 32 slashing damage plus. Uh, 28 cold damage. So 60. I'm not adding them together. I'm just telling you what. Yeah. So 60 just for the second swing. Yes. Okay, so that's 28 damage for the first one and 60 for the second one. Whatever I said. Okay, so I fall down on the second blow and then I get back up with one. Okay. Uh, One hit but before left. you fall down, there's, he has a special ability ability with Fane Eater. When he rolls a natural 20, uh, and a thing happens. And uh, he, you feel extra necrotic damage coming through, and he heals some. Right before your eyes, Torgar's turn, and uh, Torgar's going to go after Ollie again with the Shimata. The Shimmertar. Shimmertars. The thirty-two on the first one. Yes. And a. 26 on the second scimitar. Yes, yes. And a 15 on the horns. No. Okay. First connection was uh, 22 slashing damage plus... <sighs> Three fire damage as the gauntlets when they connect when it connects with you gauntlets light up with flame. You oh, get a little ain't gonna be good guys singed. Yeah, and then the second one is 
19 slashing damage plus one fire damage. I am down. Okay. And Which means I, I have to do it. That horn attack would have been at advantage. Oh, yeah. So it went down. Oh, it did. Uh, so that would be 16. Still misses. <laughs> Somehow. Uh, <laughs> Hits my shield. Uh, uh, right, well, good. Cool. We're great. <laughs> and uh, make your death save. Oh, yeah. It's my turn right away, huh? Fail. A okay. three. And at the end of the round, Archon goes, <laughs> that was fun. And Torgar is looking rough. Uh, they're both looking like you guys did some good damage uh, and uh, calls an end to it. And Archon goes, Kroll, apply healing as needed. And Kroll, the turtle, walks on over to Ollie first and hits him with a cure wounds. Wait, does he have prayer of healing? Let me check. First, he hits him with a cure wounds. I was going to say, prayer of healing takes like 10 minutes. Uh, <laughs> just hold on real quick while I pray. How, this is how Ollie dies. <laughs> uh, you get six points of healing real quick. So you're back to... As I come back up with my gasp of breath back to life, I'm just like, oh, and her milk was sour. Oh, what <laughs> <just> happened? <laughs> uh... Okay, uh, he's got so many spells. Sorry. <laughs> Does not have it, but he can use all his slots if need be, so. Um, that is using my phone, so it'll be slightly quicker. He pumps 40 Uh healing points into you ollie sweet are you looking better than bloodied much better yes okay and then he walks over to old jerry and does 45 into jerry what the shit <laughs> <laughs> and uh jerry how you looking are you better than bloodied I'm like half okay he does uh 30 into More? you yeah wow sweet yeah i look great he goes back over to you ollie uh because you two are the only ones damaged right yeah yeah uh and he only does 17 into you this time <laughs> i maxed okay uh and then he goes over to torgar and archon and gets them looking much better and Archon walks over and says, that was fun. No? Oh, that was a that lot was of fun. great from back here. Solid. It was yeah. great from up here, too. That was, that was, oh, those are some nice swords you got there, buddy. At you, roller, <laughs> at you, Roller Coast, he takes his uh, hand to Vecna and goes, I had a finger waiting for you. Oh, shit. <laughs> uh, Glad he didn't. And uh, says, well, I guess it's time to time to go through with the transaction. Uh, one second. Do you know how this all works? Hold on. Let me check something real quick. And he takes his hand of Vecna hand, sticks it through, goes through. And he goes, ah, oh, never mind. Uh, and he, uh, the unicorn looks very fearful as he sticks his hand of Vecna necrotic hand in and touches the unicorn and you see all this life drain it's an emaciated unicorn but it just kind of crumbles as the life force of the celestial being comes into the hand of Vecna the hand of Vecna doesn't change in any way whatsoever but his his the rest of his arm because it kind of goes to uh, about halfway the hand of Vecna goes up to halfway on his forearm. Uh, the rest of the left side of his body 
heals before your eyes and uh the unicorn turns to dust and the globe goes away you're just chains now that was you were pulling it with if lulu was watching this as it happened i would have put up a minor illusion in front of lulu so she didn't see any of this happen uh make a perception check to see if you can tell if she's looking Uh, that would be an 18 yeah, you think she's looking. What, what you put up what kind of a minor illusion? Just elephants, like, wh- happy elephants oh. dancing around. <laughs> happy elephants All right. dancing around. All right. All right. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh and how big can it? It's like a ten foot box. Uh, I believe it is a thirty. Five, I think. Or, for, oh, range thirty minor. area. Yeah, it's five. So I would yeah. have to put it pretty close to her so it can block it from where she. So you walk over there and yeah. get close enough to. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I can cast at thirty feet, so I go close enough to put it in front of her, yep. so she can't see. She doesn't move to get around it. She realizes what you're doing and allows it to happen. Uh, and Archon. Uh. Yeah rips the chain off of his neck with the vial and says, this is from my queen. Better be using this well and right. But thanks for... Only with honor. I take it. Good. My queen would have it no other way. And he says, if nothing else, I will be leaving you as our transaction is over yeah starts walking away back nice to the meeting tent. you thank you Torgar turns around halfway walking and uh does the <sighs> and just keeps walking and kroll is there and kroll says i will lead you back to the tower and then you'll be on your own i will make sure none of the dragons attack you and he does and cool. you guys are at the the archon's tower with your machine you have the vial anything you'd like to do before we end for the night yes i would like to ask crawl uh so is torgar's mother actually a cow uh, <laughs> he seemed really I'm affected not. by it i'm not really sure on how minotaurs work i I don't know how that works. I th- I would assume so. Yeah, I definitely struck a chord. All right, that's all I wanted to know. Thanks is, for your help, man. Is there anywhere here we can we can get some shut eye? I'm a little tired. You guys tired? Yeah. I, don't if know, you I feel can... I feel a little energized. <laughs> if you can if you can find Mahadi's wandering emporium I would assume there other than that you're on your own tiny hut it is it's nice dealing with you and he leads you to it Kroll it's so nice of you (laughs) and uh, that's where we're going to leave it for the night with you guys taking uh, starting your long rest somewhere we'll figure that out next time nice thanks guys thank you Jake thank you Jake you're welcome. We'll see you guys next week or whenever we see you. If you're listening at a later time or watching at a later time, it's been Venture Ventures, Baldur's Gate Descent to Avernus. I've been Jake, the Dungeon Master. And uh, be excellent to yourself. Be excellent to others. Black Lives Matter. And we'll see you next time. Amen. <laughs>